Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all x, p implies q of x. If and only if, p implies for all x, q of x. Okay, now we're trying to prove a statement containing if and only if. So what we're going to do is we're going to prove if this is true, then this is true. And then we're going to prove if this is true, then this is true. Let's start out by proving if this is true, then this is true. To do so, suppose this is true. From here, we want to show that this is true. So we're trying to show if p is true, then for all x cube x. So let's suppose that p is true. And now we want to show for all x cube x. So since we're trying to prove a statement about all objects, give me an arbitrary object. I'll call it c. And really, we want to show that q of c is true. Now, we know that this statement is true, and this statement works for all objects. So it must work for our object, c. So taking x to be c, we have that p implies q of c. But since p and p implies q of c, these two tell us that q of c must be true. And c was an arbitrary object. So q of c is true no matter what c is. Therefore, we have shown for all x, q of x. So under the assumption p is true, we have for all x, q of x. Therefore, if p is true, then for all x, q of x. And now we see under the assumption this is true, we have that this is true. So we have shown if this is true, then this is true. Now we're going to show if this is true, then this is true. To do so, suppose this is true. And now we want to show that this is true. And we're trying to prove a statement about all objects. So give me an arbitrary object. I'll call it R. From here, we want to show that P implies Q of R. So let's suppose that P is true. And now we want to show Q of R is true. Well, since P implies for all X Q of X and P is true, these two tell us we have for all X Q of X. So this statement is true. And this statement works for all objects. So it must work for our object R. So taking X to be R, we have that Q of R is true. And now we see under the assumption P is true, it follows that Q of R is true. So if P is true, then Q of R is true. So we have shown that P implies Q of R. But remember, R was arbitrary, right? We have shown that this is true no matter what R is. Therefore, we have shown for all x, P implies Q of x. So we see under the assumption this is true, we have this is true. So we have shown if this is true, then this is true. And we've shown both directions of the if and only if, which means we have proven this entire statement. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.